Hi, if you're a visual artist and you want to show your work but you're not too sure if the venue is going to be worth your time and money, then keep on watching. I'm going to show you the use of the art decision model to help you make better decisions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the tree model, I will be discussing gamification, we will put the two together. Then, with the help of a few examples, I will walk through the decision process so that you can make a better choice as an artist for your work. Well, let's start going the model tree. In the decision tree, we are able to visualize the choices that we've got and most probably create more options. Let's start with a hands-on example. I want to take my artwork to an art fair and I've got two choices. Either I don't go or I'm going to go. If I do go, I'll be investing money into it. The art fair will be costing me 900 euro. If I don't go, I won't be losing anything and I'm not going to be gaining anything. If I'm going to go, I will take my paintings with me, and I have several paintings and they're worth 10,000 euro. Um, I'm going to try and sell them, and I have to be realistic at this moment, and I have to say, well, what are my chances of selling those paintings? I'm not such a good salesman. I will be able to give myself a chance of 5%. For the decision tree to work, I need to make units and then feed them down the branches and we land up with a choice. I'm going to multiply 10,000 by 5%, that will give me 500 units and at this moment I'm going to start plugging in the numbers. This one is an investment of minus 900. I will gain 500. I'm going to add these two numbers to, together. That's 500 minus 900 gives me minus 400. I'm going to be adding these up together with zero. That's minus 400. So the outcome, should I go to the art fair or not? No. The numbers clearly tell me I shouldn't go. With the decision tree, I can relook at a situation over here. How can I increase those numbers so it makes it worth my while to go to the art market? I can take a course in uh, marketing techniques. I don't think that's going to happen. I can have a look at this number. Maybe I should go to another art fair, a cheaper one. I could also think to myself, well, if I bring in a colleague with me and we are going to be sharing these costs, so it's only be paying 450, that's going to make it worth it. Okay, let's try it. So it's minus 450. I'm going to be adding those two, and it's going to come up with a number of 50. Add those two together, and I have a number 50. So it's telling me, yes, I should go to the art market together with a colleague of mine. Uh, I hear you thinking, well, your chances of selling with your colleague next to you might be reduced. So let's say I put make that a smaller amount, I'm going to change that to 300, right? Um, that's going to change the outcome, so maybe I shouldn't go to the art fair anymore. But with my options, I have to look. Maybe um, to go to the art fair, it's going to be good for my CV. Uh, maybe I'll make contacts. Um, Maybe I'm going to be meeting um, a gallerist who wants to take on my work. And maybe I'm going to have a really great time. Right? And I should give that some kind of figure as well. For my CV, I would give 100. Um, to increase my contacts, give that 50. The chances of meeting another gallery, keep that quite small, 20. I might have a good time. Yeah, why not, right? Then I'm going to add those up. 480, 
480 that, and subtract that, that's going to be a little bit less, that's going to be prime note 30, which is still greater than zero. So yeah, I should definitely go to the art fair with a colleague artist. Okay, uh, in the next section of um, gamification, I'll be looking at that and how do we give points to the CVs, the contacts, gallery, and having a good time. I want to tell you a little bit about gamification because it will help us create more options in our decisions. Gamification is the use of game design elements in a non-game context and we will use the Bartle taxonomy of player types to make four different groups. Bartle's taxonomy splits the players up into killers, achievers, socializers and explorers. And the killers are those that are attracted to shooting games, the achievers would be attracted to collecting points, think of air miles, socializers would be attracted to teamwork activities, and the explorers are those that are always in search of the boundaries. Now in our model, we're going to alter the categories ever so slightly, so let's go into that and see what comes out of it. Right, we're going to be putting the gamification together with the tree. Let's recap the tree, so we were here, we... If we have a look at that, our resume, this is our status. We can increase our status with this. Our contacts, this is our social network that we are going to be increasing. And our inspiration we could translate as exploring. Right, let's have a look at those four elements. We have killers, cowwood. You translate that as money and time. The socializers. This is our social capital. And you could think about your whole social network. So think about Facebook. All the people that you would be inviting to your exhibition would fall under your social capital. Achievers. In our case, I would translate this as status. Anything that you would be using for your biography, you put into your status. As artists, we are exploring. We're exploring areas that have uh, never been seen before. Okay, now we have four new elements. We've got time and money. We have our social network or social capital. We have our inspiration. There we go. And we have our status. Good. So when we go to a art fair and we expect that this area is not going to get any smaller as an outcome. Let's try and do a, a, an example. And I'm not going to put in all my money. Certainly not. I'm going to be paying like 250 euro to be able to participate in a small exhibition. The exhibition is going to be out of town, far away from my home crowd, so I will not be investing and putting in my whole social network. My inspiration, I will be presenting new work, um, so it's going to cost a little bit of extra for me to put up this new work and my status, it's a small exhibition, so I don't need to use all of my status to be part of this exhibition. This is what I put in. The outcome of it should be larger. Let's, I, I'm going to predict what is my outcome of it. Because it's going to be a new town, I expect to get a lot more social contacts. I am not going to be selling very much, I would say this is there's only a small chance that I'm going to be getting some money back from this. 
is it going to be an inspiration a little bit more so I'm going to put that there is it going to increase my status we're putting it on my CV so yes that is worth worth a little bit of, of, of investment if I calculate this area how many squared centimeters and if I have a look at how many square centimeters I get from that then I would already say well it looks pretty good so for this particular exhibition I should be going Let's do another example. I use squared paper and it's really easy to go through the models as long as you just position everything correctly. I'm going to be exhibiting in a library. My investment, my uh, money investment, is it's, it's going to be very small. Do I need social capital for this? Yes, I do. It's a local show. I will be inviting my friends and family to the exhibition. Is it going to be an inspiration? No, I will, I will not be using my, my creativity a lot in this exhibition. It's just a matter to, to put it up. Am I going to be using my status in this? Also not. Like I said, it's a local show, right? It's a very small library. What am I expecting back from this? I'm not going to be selling any work. I'll be losing that. My social contacts should grow. That's what I'm counting on. Status will not go smaller or bigger. I don't expect anything from that. In my inspiration, is it going to go up or down? I would say, well, it's pretty much going to be the same. If I have a look at this model, this is where I'm losing. I'm losing money, but I'm gaining social contacts. Model one, right? The library. Okay, let's take another example. Okay, I'm going to be exhibiting at quite a big library. This is a city library. And uh, I'll be transporting those paintings, so I need to rent a truck for that. So my investment is larger. The social capital that I've got, well, it's a library out of town. The, my social capital that I'll be using for this will not be much bigger. I am going to be investing quite a lot of my creativity in this because it's a new show, it's a new venue, and there's a bit of pressure on there. I've had to use quite a lot of my CV and persuasive power, so I've used this as capital. What do I think is going to come out of it? It's a new town. I will be increasing my contacts. Chance of selling is, is nothing. It's a really large library, so yes, my CV will, will increase in status. And I'm, am I going to be inspired by this? It's a new environment. It's a new library. Yes, I'll, I will be inspired by that. So is this area larger than this? Yes, I should be exhibiting that. I've got some links on my site about the Coursera courses where I got the information from about gamification and the model tree. I certainly recommend that you have a look at those. If there are any questions about this work, get into contact with me and uh, I'll see if I can answer some questions. Well, thanks for your time. Good luck and yeah, that's it. Goodbye now.